why do you care about what people are going to think about you? What's up, beauty babes? It's Elise Rose, and I am back with another video. And in today's video, you guys, uh, I'm excited, nervous, anxious, and all of the above. I'm going to be doing my very first get ready with me shadig. I don't know what happened. So I was actually looking through my list of like video ideas and it was a talk through type of video. So I decided why not do my hair cause it needs to be done and um, just give you guys the topic that I'm gonna be talking about. So without further ado, let's just hop straight into the video. So, as you guys can tell by the title, I'm going to be talking about how to be confident wearing your natural hair. I know, that's, that was a lot. But um, y'all, like, I don't know, I feel like a lot of people are really trying to get into being a natural and they're like confused or just like, I don't know, nervous about what people will think, about what people will say, just everything in general that doesn't concern them. They're mainly just concerned about people's thoughts. Quick side note, y'all, I don't have my thumbnail on because these are press-on nails and I can literally just put it on there, but I wanted to just have one thumb or finger just in case I needed to do some of these nails alone. Anyway, so they really just are always concerned. I know for the people that I've talked to and had conversation with, they're mainly just concerned about what people will think about them. And I'm always like, why do you care about what people are going to think about you? And I will say, I have not always been the one to be confident in myself and being like, you know what, Psh, forget what people gotta say. I care about me and forget about them <laughs> so I have not always been that type of person but just go through the years I sound like an old person but literally throughout these years of me being natural I've learned that nobody first of all nobody made me but God second who cares about what people have to say like anyway I'm rambling because I'm getting really really passionate and anxious and excited about what I'm about to be talking about so I have about four points I wrote down like a list of things that I want to talk about and discuss while I'm doing my hair and I think I'm gonna do my makeup as well I'm gonna just get straight into this <laughs> so first things first y'all I'm going to actually film a video on how I did this hairstyle because I've been wearing ooh it's looking kind of rough right now but yeah it's looking kind of rough right now and it's a little bit itchy i'm trying to decide if i want to take these out of here um take the ponytails down and like take the plaits out and make it a big fro but i don't know yet anyway i'm gonna show y'all eventually i'm gonna film a video on how i do this but it's real simple and it keeps my hair out of my hands and out of my face it's a low manipulation hairstyle that I really love. All right, y'all, so I decided I'm just gonna do these little pigtails because these are cute. Okay, so the first thing that I have on here, number one, tip number one for how to be confident wearing your natural hair. Do not wear it for people, okay, honey? Like, don't be wearing your hairstyles and doing the different things that you do to your hair for other people. When you're doing your hair, having the mindset of, don't you think that they'll think this is cute? Like, no, no. Why is that the number one thing that you're saying while you're doing your hair? Why is that what you're thinking while you're doing your hair? You should be saying, girl, you look good, this look cute on you oh my gosh you try something new because it's not about them who cares what they think who cares what they say you don't need man's approval you don't need to be thinking oh my gosh they don't like my hair who cares it's, it's not about them because guess what they not gonna take the time out to do your hair when you doing it you know what i mean <laughs> like and properly do it how you want them to do it like for me i'll be in the shower for two plus hours doing my hair i i take literally as much time as i need to i would say not into no it is intentionally because I want my hair to turn out how I want it to turn out. But I don't be feeling like doing that. I don't be feeling like standing there for hours upon hours doing my own hair and you know, just worried about if the style is gonna turn out right and staying in there for a long time cause my legs be hurting, standing in that shower. Like I don't be feeling like doing that, but who else gonna do it? Oh, nobody. <laughs> nobody else is gonna do my hair but me. So I kind of have to do it, especially if I want it to turn out right. And then I've noticed too, nobody else can really do my hair like me. Like, and then I don't be trusting people too. Like, mm -mm. I had an incident where I went to uh, the shop to get my hair done. And this was like when I was like really learning how to do my hair. But 
I didn't feel like doing it this day. So I'm like, oh, okay, let me go get my hair done at this beauty supply. And I was recommended by somebody that's natural as well. And you know, they was telling me like, this is a good shop or whatever. I'm like, okay, bet, let me go. And I didn't never see them getting heat damage or anything like that. Their hair was never damaged. So I'm just like, okay, let me try this person out. Went there, doing my hair and you know, getting me right. I'm like, okay, I'm cute. So literally when I washed my hair after and then I had got it straightened. Um, um, when it was finally time for me to wash my hair, bruh, I had the straightest strands of hair that I've ever had, bruh. Like my hair, literally, it looked like I had just blow dried it and I was still trying to get it to revert back to my natural hair. But it had already re reverted as much as it was going to. I'm in the shower like trying to think like what did, what did, what happened? What, what did we do wrong? Like why is my hair messed up? I was heated bruh. I didn't cry or anything but I was very upset because it's like you put your trust into another person's hands. Especially when it comes to my hair. I do not play about my hair at all. <laughs> at all so i'm struggling trying to get it to revert back to its natural state like it's just looking a fool g but even then throughout that whole process i'm just like man if i would never went if i would never been lazy if i would have just took the extra time out to do it myself and learn how to do it myself i wouldn't be in this predicament but that all just ties back to my point about how you shouldn't do it for people and then that that correlates to you doing it on your own if you do it for yourself and do it yourself you won't have to worry about people so i really hope that makes sense i really hope y'all understand that yeah nobody else takes the time to do your hair and if they do have the time and don't be looking how you wanted to do it let's be real if you wanted it to look a certain way and then they mess it up come on now let's be honest i think i need to freshen this up though. hold on but yeah like <sighs> Nobody else does your hair but you. So you have to learn to be okay with that and not worried about what other people are doing or what other people are concerned about your hair that you did on your own for two plus hours, three hours doing it yourself. Who cares about what they think? You did it, not them, period. And that's all I have to say. So I'm about to just um, redo this whole ponytail. Oh, by the way, what I'm using to uh, style my hair is this Texture ID Styling Cream that I am freaking running out of. I barely have any more. <laughs> the other product that I'm using is this Cream of Nature Twist and Curl Pudding. And I just bought this one, so it's pretty full. But yeah, that's pretty much what I was just saying about that, y'all. Like, you really cannot care about what people say okay i'm going to a concert tonight and i'm doing two pigtails in my hair and it's a church concert so people would normally come in with like curls and a whole bunch of other stuff like i'm coming in with my natural hair and i did it myself so i don't care about what people have to say i took the time out to do it i think it's cute so if you don't that sounds like a personal problem if you don't think my hair is cute okay that's the mindset and the mentality you gotta have like you just gotta keep it pushing people gonna think what they want to think Yeah, so I'm done with this side of my hair. Cool. I'm really just trying to get the hair part out the way because then I can move on to the makeup and I can talk a little bit more. Oh, let me get into the second point. So the second tip that I have is to be unique. So what that means is simply like, y'all know what unique means. It means you stand out, you're different. So when people see you, they like, whoa who's that <laughs> you know what i mean like you you're doing something different you're doing something that's like out of the norm something that people wouldn't think is normal that's simply what that means just be unique in your own way though because you can't be unique and still be the same as other people that, that literally is defeating the purpose of being unique and and just be be different be okay with being different be okay with doing something different be okay with you know not caring about people saying oh she's different like okay 
and so in. And then you never know, somebody might copy your style because they think that the way that you're being different is how they wanna be different. You know what I mean? And that's how trends start. That's how people start finding different trends and different um ways to do things. Cause somebody, that one person decided, oh, I'm gonna be unique and try this different thing. You know what I mean? Cause sometimes you might not like what you've tried out, but it's okay. Cause it's called trial and error. Okay, baby? <laughs> you gotta try and if you make an error, Try again, you make another one, try again, and so on and so forth. Like, you gotta be okay with just trying different things out. You know what I mean? Oh, by the way, my hair already smells good because I use this Texture ID styling cream for when I did my hair. Bruh, my hair smells good. Oh yeah, by the way, it looks white once I put it on, I mean, when I put it on right now, but it's gonna dry up. Okay, hair is done. Got my little pigtails going. Um, I'm just gonna smooth it on out and then I'm gonna get back to talking to y'all. Okay, just gonna lay it down with the scarf so that it can be nice and smooth. Ain't gonna lie, I like to put my scarf on nice and tight so I want it to be sleek. And then I smooth it out with my hands just a little bit more to really mold it and set it for how I want it to look. All right, so now back to my being unique point. So yeah, just like for example, a way that you can be unique is like trying out different styles. So just, um, I don't know, like something like this, pigtails. I used to think, and I was one of those people that would be like, oh, what is they doing in their hair? But I've learned that is none of my business, none of my concern. I'm gonna mind the business that pays me. I, I never even thought that I could pull something like this off. I would be like, what in the world is they wearing? Like, what are they thinking? You know, I was one of those people. But after a while, I was just like, dang, that, that looks kind of good. I ain't even gonna lie to you, you know what I mean? And then I would eventually, like now, hop on the train and be like okay this is cute on me now I, I look good as well you know recently for my birthday uh for around my birthday my 21st birthday for the photo shoot I wore blue hair it was the brightest blue hair I'm gonna insert and then I did a video on it too how I did the hair y'all it was so different when I picked up the hair my dad was like you put net in your hair <laughs> and I'm like yeah <laughs> but at first when I bought it from the store since it was such a bright blue color I was like dang like like should I even do this <laughs> and it wasn't at that point it wasn't because I thought like people would think you know oh my gosh what is she doing with her hair because like I said the the first point I'm already squashed that I've already squashed that like who cares what people think I'm on to the second thing now like oh my god I'm really finna be different like I'm really <laughs> I'm really doing something that's out of the box like especially for me coming from where I'm coming from people look at you like bruh and then even myself I'm like bruh what are you doing <laughs> it's just all about being different trying something new when my dad was like you doing that to your hair I'm like yeah I am and just moved on first of all blue is my favorite color so I was like and I'm turning 21 you only turn 21 once so I'm like okay let me do something different I was like okay let me step outside the box like what should I do to my hair I couldn't think of any styles like I said before I don't be liking for people to play in my hair so I'm like I'm gonna do it myself if anything if worse come to worse I'm doing my hair myself and I didn't want to get a sew in or a wig because everybody was doing that around that time and I just wanted to be different turns out it was very different but it, it was teaching me how to be okay with being different you can only do so much to please people so at the end of the day you just really gotta be like I'm me and I'm okay with being me none more nothing less so that's the thing once you step outside your comfort zone you'll eventually get comfortable it'll be weird at first but you'll eventually be like dang I kind of like this you know what I mean but yeah it'll just spark up something different and use some creative 
thoughts and just creativity in general and you'll be like man i'm ready to try a whole bunch of different stuff not even just pertaining to hair like it could be anything i'm ready to do something new okay but yeah just be unique be different and then do it for you not for people i'm looking directly in this lens because i want you to feel the sentiments of my heart okay feel where i'm coming from next all right so i'm about to get into my third point while i kind of like freshen up my face a little bit i don't want to do foundation because i don't really care for foundation right now i'm trying to clear up this little acne that i got wow it's so rude um anyway so my third point is to fall in love with your hair yes i said it fall in love with the hair okay no for real i know that probably sound like cliche or that sound like oh my gosh like everybody will say that or everybody thinks that it's so easy or like i get it okay i understand i'm listen i'm here with you but i'm just trying to give you some tips and some encouragement and some knowledge on how you can defeat that saying and that cliche of oh it, it, it's hard to fall in love with your hair no it's not like y'all i will insert some pictures and videos i who it makes me get teary-eyed because for real I really used to be dogging myself. I never thought that my hair could get how it is. And I'm not saying my hair is perfect because it still has a long way to go, which is what you guys are on this journey with me for. Literally like freshman year in high school and actually throughout those four years in high school and a little bit freshman year in college, I was rough, okay? I had been natural all those years. I've been natural for a while, honestly. Yes, I did get a perm when I was like nine. And I can go into details in another video about my hair journey my natural hair journey but i want to say about my eighth grade year i decided to go natural and i'm now a junior finna be a senior in college so i've been natural for a while you know and it's been trial and error figuring out how to do this like how to really be okay with being natural i was staying comparing myself i used to stay looking in the mirror like bro i'm gonna get my hair to look exactly like hers and that's where that correlates to being unique like if you get your hair to look exactly like hers nine times out of ten it ain't gonna look like hers because y'all have different types of hair so you might as well just stop struggling on that and be unique be yourself be different and the way that you can fall in love with it is by trying different styles being unique figuring out what works for your hair what works for you you know things that work for people might not work for you and then things that don't work for people might work for you it's all about just trying it out only one person made you god <laughs> And that's if anything, that's the only person you should be concerned about. And he love you for you. So why should why can't you love you for you? <sighs> Let me do my eyebrows real quick, y'all. Okay, finish my brows. But yeah, y'all, my main point is just like, it's, it's a growing pain, essentially, especially when you're first starting to be natural. It's, it's like growing pains. You, it's trial and error. It's a whole bunch of I don't knows. It's a whole bunch of let me try this. And, and that has to be okay with you. First of all, it's nothing you can do about it. Like this is the hair that has been given to you, specifically made for you. So it's all about like figuring it out figure it out fake it till you make it essentially and then when you do make it you ain't gotta fake it no more because <laughs> you done made it <laughs> you know what i think i do want to do just a little bit of foundation just to cover up some of the blemishes <gasps> girl fail that was a fail but yeah, the relationship that you have with your hair is kind of similar to like a relationship that you would have in general. All right, this is so rude of you to just keep texting me while. Anyway, it's kind of similar to what you would have in a friend. So how you would treat your friend, you wouldn't be mean to your friend if you really love them. <laughs> I'm trying to break it down for you, okay? But how you would treat them is the same way you treat your hair. Love your hair regardless of how you feel on a certain day. You still gotta treat it right, you know? You still gotta treat it good regardless of how you feel. Same way you are vulnerable to fall in love with a man. Same way that you are willing 
to fall in love with the guy because how he treats you because how he makes you feel it's the same way and the same feelings you should have towards your hair be okay and be willing to fall in love with your hair Cause there's gonna be some days when like you have a good hair day and then there's also some when you have like a bad hair day but even through the good and the bad for better or for worse you gotta still choose to love it because at the end of the day you have to deal with it regardless of whether you want to or not you have to deal with your hair because at the end of the day people wish now when i say people i hope y'all are catching on they look like my shirt they wish that they had the hair that we had i mean they wish in general people love our hair like this is what god decided to give us this is how god decided to make us look appreciate it. love it form a bond with your hair the way that you do that is like i said earlier like your hair has to trust you so it has to trust that you're putting it into not into harm's way so the products that i use are not damaging to my hair and my hair knows knows that by now because I've been using these products for so long. But yeah, once you form that bond with your hair, she's like, I trust her, so I'ma act right specifically for her. Sometimes when my girl is like, uh, not turning out cute and, and, and just looking any type of way, I'm like, all right, I must've did something wrong. I never blame my hair. I never get too mad at my hair, because at the end of the day, I control her, but you know, she's able to cooperate once you, you do the right thing. I hope this makes sense, y'all, because this is really how I be thinking. Like, in my head, this, this makes sense to me. But yeah, y'all, that's that's really a main thing to being confident with your um hair. Like, you ain't got to worry about her because y'all understand each other. You know what I mean? Okay, I really hope that made sense. It made sense to me. And yeah, I have one more point that I want to get across y'all head. But I'm going to blend this in real quick and then I'm going to get back to y'all. All right, y'all, moving on to my last point. Don't worry about how I'm looking right now. I'm, I'm, in, I'm in the process. <laughs> my last point is to just simply be you. And that really is just applying all three of the other points by not focusing on other people's opinion, being unique and, and falling in love with your hair. And then that'll help you to be you, be yourself. You know, don't copy off what other people are doing unless you're being inspired by them, okay? That's so rude. Unless you're inspired by them or they're, you know, sparking something in you, sparking your creativity, then okay, cool. Go with the punches. But, you know, if you're just copying people's style and not trying to come up with a way to make it your own and be different, then it's it's, it's pointless because there's so many other people already doing that. But once you make it your own and implement it into your own style and make it your own way, that'll, that'll be what attracts people to you. Sometimes I did used to let what people say get to me and sometimes I still do but like like I've been saying I apply these points to me all the time to my life all the time like I be like man listen so be you don't care about other people's opinion be yourself find what looks best to you and and then go from there whatever looks best to you is what you should be doing if it don't look good to you it dang sure ain't gonna look good to nobody else <laughs> but if it don't look good to you don't wear it All right, y'all, I'm back and I almost forgot to start filming again <laughs> to take my scarf off. This is how my hair is looking. Got the sleek ponies going. Boom, and then let me do my edges. Got my edge control. Oh, by the way, this is the edge control I'm using. It's the EBIN Extreme Firm Hold.
All right, I'm gonna put my scarf on now. But yeah, you guys, sometimes you just have to not be concerned about what people say or what they think about you, not even yourself, huh? Sometimes you'll be the one to even get in the way of what you're thinking about yourself or how you feel about yourself. You will be the one to be a Debbie Downer and always have something negative to say about your own self. Like, you gotta stop that. I find myself sometimes even doing it. I'll be like, girl, you was treating yourself. Like, <laughs> you are dogging yourself. Chill out. It ain't even that serious. Half the time, and don't even be that serious you don't have to talk about every single thing and be so negative all the time and i'm saying this to myself as well because sometimes i can really be negative like oh i'm working on that though so you have to just be mindful of what you say about yourself and speak with intention okay like the things that you say about yourself make it intentional make it personal make it like okay i'm saying this for a reason don't just be talking don't just be talking just to talk like don't be talking about yourself just because you can yeah don't be just down on yourself just because so every day you just gotta focus on being intentional about what you say about yourself what you do with yourself like everything has to have a purpose so yeah just focus on being you okay you're not being yourself for anybody else you're being you for you but yeah just don't 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 y'all don't be worried about what nobody gotta say about you okay Yeah, you guys, I'm just putting on the mascara now. My last couple thoughts and opinions are to just simply be yourself, focus on you, worry about yourself, what you got going on, be confident in yourself. And how do you do that? Learning yourself, learning to love yourself, learning what works for you, what doesn't work for you, what's best for you, what's not best for you. What others do that may work for them and may not work for you. It's totally fine. We're all different. We are, we're all uniquely, wonderfully made. Everything about us is perfect according to God, according to the higher one. So if it's perfect to him, baby, you better believe it's perfect to me. Everything on me is perfect let me take this off and like put on my accessories or whatever hold up Ooh, because the edges are on fleek yes edges on fleek so i'm trying to hurry up because i think my battery is about to die oh but i wanted to show y'all i put these little accessories on i got these from target they're these little clips i'm gonna show y'all i really like to just kind of use this as like a um these are like my bobby pins because for the, like the hairs that are sticking out but they're cute so they don't look like tacky or anything boom right there just like that oh got my little bun little bun right here mm, she cute she cute um this is a lip liner from la girl it's called blushing i need to sharpen it because this is a little dull i ain't even gonna lie to you okay so i am done with this look nothing major i'm just trying to take a couple pictures so i can post on a gram if you don't by now follow me on the gram dude what are you doing you're missing out if you're not <laughs> so that's my tips that's my little secrets or gems on how i personally gain the confidence that i do have and that i'm still trying to get with my natural hair popping my collar and keeping it pushing but yeah i think that that's really all that i have for y'all for today's video i really hope that you guys enjoyed and let me know if you guys are feeling this get rid of me type of video and things that i'm getting into yeah you don't know until you try so yeah i just wanted to see how this would feel and i actually do like talking into the camera like this and just kind of relating on a personal level with y'all and just talking to you guys y'all only see me do like videos of me doing my hair and voiceovers so you never really get to see me personally and 
and kind of connect with me i am going to be doing a couple of q a's real soon so you guys can really get to know me and just elevating my content and elevating what i do on here because i really do love doing it i love filming i love being in front of a camera i love talking as you guys can see <laughs> so yeah i'm having a good time doing this and i really hope you guys are enjoying me and i thank y'all for sticking around and actually pushing me a couple people always um tell me personally like don't give up on what you're doing just hearing that really encourages me and motivates me to keep going you know what i mean because i really do love doing this but yeah if you guys enjoyed today's video be sure to give it a like comment down below your favorite part don't forget to subscribe because we are a lit family already okay but yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and leave some encouraging messages down below people may need to see that but i do love you guys and i will see you in my next video bye yeah i'm recording i'm sorry i just wanted to tell you you're very very beautiful thank you